Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a new video for you. This one is on Voila. This is probably one of my favorite AI tools that I've been using for all these years. And today we are getting a new invitation. So I've just got this email and I've not installed this. So Voila used to be a, a browser extension. It doesn't have a native application. And a lot of our users, customers, clients, are actually asking for a standalone app. And it's so good that the developer is actually listening to their customers. And right now we've got an early access to the Voila for desktop. And I'm going to go through this with you. For those who have watched my videos before on Voila, um, you know that it's only, a, it's only a browser extension. You cannot get this as a standalone app. But if you are interested to use Voila, I'll leave a link down below. They do have a like a free trial or some sort of like 200 prompts or 200 use as a free account. But you have to pay for for the the higher subscription tier, which is you get the GPT-4. But we're here to test out the desktop app. So we're going to install it. All right. So we click on the link. This is the Voila website and we want to install the Mac version. That's my OS. All right, it's been downloading right now. And let's get that installed. All right, we're going to install this, put in application. So if you have installed the web app before, it will look like just called Voila as an icon, but the desktop app is called Voila AI Assistant. So let's click on it. So we'll open it. So you'll be prompt to sign in right now. So I'm going to sign in with my account. You click on the link. It's going to show you the Voila website. And because I've already logged in, this should be working properly. So they, there is a privacy access that we need to provide. So I'll hit allow. And then we'll click on open system settings. And then I just need to enable this put in my password and then we're done. So previously, if you're on your browser, it's always the, the option or the command M to, to enable Voila. Right now it will be option space. So you can change the shortcut, but I'll just keep whatever we have. We'll hit continue. All right. And so if I just hit option space, it will give me this. And this is probably what we've been waiting for. So because previously the, the limitation is that you can only use this within a browser. And I'm going to now do some testing to see where I can actually use Voila as a desktop app. All right, the first one I'm going to test out is the email client. So on my Mac computer, I'm using an email client called Spark. So they do have an AI component, but I didn't subscribe to their service because it'll cost me like five bucks or six bucks a month. And with, with now, if I can use Voila, I can just select all the text here. So I'll need to hit reply first. Reply this email and then make sure I have everything. I can just simply select everything. Control space, reply that I'm interested and want more information. So I hit send. All right, so I've got this as my response. I can copy it. And then I can paste it in email. Of course, it's not going to be as native as the one that you can use directly in Gmail. But let's say if you're not using Gmail, you're not using Outlook, you got some other email client, this is going to be really good. So you see, once we hit the option space button, you can see the settings. So the settings currently it's available is you can launch this at login. So whenever your computer starts, you will log in as an app and then showing the Voila on the menu bar and then showing Voila on the dock. So I've got all those there and then you can change the keyboard shortcut. 
it shows you your email account, your 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 voila account, and the current version. And then you can always click check for updates. But since I just installed it, I'm assuming there's no updates yet. And the only difference I can see is I can't choose, I can't choose the uh, LLM. So usually by default is ChatGPT 3.5, and because the access I have is unlimited, so I should be able to use GPT 4. But here I can't choose or select the model. So in the web version, on the web version, I can see the AI model that I can choose, and then you can set the output language, chat history, preference. But for the desktop version, all you have is the settings and then you have the chat history as well. So there is some difference between the desktop app and the browser extension. So we're going to do a test whether it can search the latest information on the internet. So something happened recently in Sydney. So I can just ask what happened in this Sydney attack in the last two days. So it can search the web. It'll say Sydney witness a tragic incident, investigating terrorist attack, blah, blah, blah. So I'll stop that. Let me see if I can put this on the side and then I'll initiate the desktop app here. I'll put in the same question. What happened in the Sydney attack in the last two days? So interestingly, it's not able to find the latest information. So yeah. So you can see the web version can do uh, web scraping. It can search on the internet. The desktop app couldn't do it right now. So that will be a feedback to the Fola team. Okay, so we're looking at the chat history. So I can confirm the chat history on the desktop app will synchronize with the with the browser version. So so these are the ones that I just typed in. So we're getting through the the browser chat history. So that is awesome. All right, the other use case I can try it out is just opening a Word document. And in the browser world, you can use like Word Online, but if you don't like the web version, you like to use the desktop version, then I can use Word. And then having the ability to use AI, I can just hit option space, open up Voila, and then I can just write something here. Explain what is keto diet. Write me an article about keto diet for beginners who are in their late 60s. So we can copy this, paste it here. So it's a, it's a nice short article, but you get the point. You have the ability to use this as a desktop rather than just the browser extension. So where else can we try Voila on? I've just opened up my Notion application. This is the desktop version and I'm not using the Notion AI and I can just come in here. Maybe I want to type out my script for for my for my video for for our desktop and I can just hit again option space write me the talking points if for voila desktop app the pros and cons in compare with their browser extension. So basically I can just take this, copy it, insert it. And let's just have a quick read. Pros of Voila desktop app enhanced performance. The 
Voila desktop app offers faster performance, responsiveness, and offline access. So interesting. I have not tried whether this could be offline or not, but it might be it might be not factual. But let's put this to a test. So I'm going to disconnect my Wi-Fi. So there's no internet right now. Let me just prove it. If I type Google, it's not going anywhere. So if I hit if I go back to Notion. And then I put on the desktop app. And then let me just try something else. Explain what is multi-factor authentication to a six-year-old kid. And of course, it's not going to work because it does require internet connection using OpenAI. So that's not factual, but at least it proves that you can write stuff and then using it on, on desktop locally. All right, so I've got another one to test. This is open up a PDF document and see if the desktop voila can do like a summary of what this PDF is about. So select all the text, option space, summarize this document in five bullet points. So this is good because previously the Voila web version, even though you can open up a PDF document in your browser, but it won't be able to summarize a document. So right now I can open up this PDF document on my computer, on my desktop, and then just open up Voila desktop app and then it can summarize this document for me. Very, very useful uh, use case in my mind. And this will be my last test. And I'm just opening up my WhatsApp account. And I can try to see if I can do like a, an AI response. So let's say I've got this chat going on. And I want I want it to sort of summarize. Let's see if I can select all the text here. I don't think I can select all. So I can select a particular message. And then I can use Voila. reply this message and provide critic. So you can see I can I can select the text in any application in this case is WhatsApp and then I can take those words put it in action uh, like a response to a message something like that but really looking forward to see if I can have a bit more functions here. Like, for example, uh, whether the response is long, short, the tone. I think you get all those in the web uh, experience. So if the, the developer, uh, I think it's Michal, he can c consider having these functions in the desktop app, that would be great. So this is a really, really quick overview from sort of unboxing, testing out installation, and then running a few use cases at in front of you. So hopefully this was useful for those who are using Voila. Uh, this will be a very good tool to try it out on the desktop. If you're brand new, then give this a try. It's probably better than ChatGPT from my experience. So hope you enjoyed this video and do subscribe to my channel if you found this useful and stay tuned for more content from me. Have a good day and I'll see you in the next one.